In today's video, I will be sharing a tutorial of a card with these leaves on a glass jar. This is Agnes for Agnes Paper and Craft. I will be using light and dark shades of olive green color quilling paper strips. I take half strips, roll them and transfer to a quilling board. You can also use a circle scale instead. They help to get equal sizes of circle which is more useful while making flowers, leaves and mandalas. For the leaves, take out the loose coils, squeeze them at opposite ends to make an eye-like shape. Make as many as possible in both the colors. To arrange the leaves, I take a half strip, fold it again to a half, apply glue, stick one of the eye shape in the center and seal the two strips together. This holds the top leaf and makes a strong leaf stack. Then I arrange the other leaflets to the stack. I prefer to do this on some non-sticky surface like this file leaf. After they dry, it is easy to peel off and use. For the glass jar, I draw a design and copy it over a glass sheet or acetate. It is also called as OHP sheet. I trace the design using an outliner used for glass painting. I make two copies of them and allow them to dry. After few hours, once it dried, I paint with blue and white glass paints on one of the jar. The other jar, I stick to the card with double sided tape only to the top. The card is made with white note card and sticking blue paper with white glue. Over this jar, I am attaching the leaves that we have made earlier. I apply glue only to the leaflets and not to the stack. I on the top, I attach the color jar using E6000 glue. I apply glue drops only to the corners and fix them. It took about a day for the glass paint to dry, so make sure to make them earlier. This looks still incomplete, so I decided to use watercolor flowers. I take out 300 GSM watercolor paper and this is one of the scrap which I had. Now I am going to put it into use. I draw rough flowers with cerulean blue color. After it dries, I make some lines with white gel pen. Cut the flowers and paste them randomly. And this finishes the card. You, you can see the glass jar which is so beautiful, which adds real interest to the card. Hope you like today's card. Thanks for watching.